it's Liv. Today I'm bringing you some comfort food favorites, but I made them vegan, of course, and I made them a bit healthier. Also, a couple weeks ago I did a video collaboration with Squarespace, and I told you guys some of the websites that inspire me, and I showed you my website, liveshealthylife.com, and at the end of that video I asked you guys to share some of the websites that inspire you. Squarespace is back sponsoring today's video, so at the end of this video I'm going to go and show you all some of the websites that inspire you. So if you're interested in that, stick around for the end, but that is everything I have to say for now. Let's get into the video. So we're starting off with some spelt flour and then we are going to add baking powder. Then we're adding some almond milk. You can use any type of vegan milk some mashed banana, some maple syrup, and oil. And then we're just going to stir that until it is all nice and smooth and combined. And then we're going to cook that in a medium pan on medium heat, about a quarter to a half cup of batter per pancake. And then just cook those until bubbles form on top and the edges start looking like they're cooked, just like this. And that's when you can flip them and cook them for about another minute on the other side. And then I plated mine with a whole heap of fresh berries and some coconut whipped cream. I'll put a link to a coconut whipped cream recipe below, but it's really easy. Yeah, just check the description box. All of the measurements and that recipe will be below. These are basically my take on a healthy version of matzo sticks. <laughs> they're so creamy but crispy on the outside and they're just unbelievable. So you're going to start with obviously an avocado and just slice it up like I'm doing here. And then if it's ripe enough, you should be able to just easily peel the skin off each piece. And then you're going to dip it in some flour followed by almond milk. And lastly, I dipped it in some breadcrumbs, nutritional yeast and pepper. And then I just put those on some foil in a little baking tray and baked it at 375 for half an hour, flipping halfway through. And I serve them with some salsa as a dip, but you could also use some sort of like spicy mayo or something. That would also be really good, but they were unbelievable with the salsa. I really hope you guys try these. They are so, so good. These are kind of, I guess, like a mix between Pop-Tarts and toaster strudels, but they're super easy. So you're gonna start with some flour. I used a mix of spelt and regular white flour. And then I added some brown sugar. And I'm using coconut oil, but you could also use vegan butter. And then you're going to use a fork to just cut it into this crumbly mixture. So it should look like this when you're done. And then just slowly add a quarter cup of cold water to it and keep stirring in between so that it forms a dough. You might need a little bit more or a little bit less depending on what type of flour you use. So you should be able to just roll it out on a flat surface with a rolling pin or a cup. And you want it to be fairly thin, but I mean not super thin like it's gonna rip. And then just using a sharp knife, you're going to cut it into a rectangle. And then just cut it into a bunch of long rectangles and then cut that in half. So these are obviously going to be each side of your Pop-Tarts. Then you're going to add some jam in the middle. I'm using some homemade jam, but you can also just use store-bought if you have a favorite type of jam. Use a fork to seal the edges together like this. And then we're going to bake those at 375 for about 20 minutes. And then you can eat them as is, or you can do what I did, and I just mixed a little bit of icing sugar and water to make this glaze. And then I just added some sprinkles because I'm obsessed with these star sprinkles. Yeah, these are incredible. They taste just like I remember toaster strudels and Pop-Tarts tasting, so I really hope you guys like them. 
Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm going to share some of the websites that you guys commented on my last video with Squarespace. The first one is Vegan Risha. I actually have been following her blog for a while. I absolutely love her and I've made a ton of her recipes before. She's super great. Definitely go check out her site if you're interested. Here's another site. This is actually someone who lives in Halifax, the same city as me, and she has her own wedding and event planning business. So if you want to go support her, definitely go check her out. And this last site is something that I think will be really beneficial to anyone who is either just starting out as a vegan or who wants to go vegan. There's this whole section here on different products that you should have in a vegan pantry. And when you click on each one of these, it shows you a picture of it. It tells you what it is and some places that you can get it. So this is an awesome website and this one is also created with Squarespace. It's super beautiful and just so helpful. So thank you so much for sharing your sites and telling me who inspires you. If you are interested in creating your own Squarespace site, click the first link in the description box. It's squarespace.com slash lives healthy life for a free trial and 10% off your first purchase. If you've always been curious about what it's like to start a website or if you've had an idea for one but you just never got around to doing it, definitely go check out Squarespace. It's what I use for my website and it is so easy to use. I know you guys are gonna love it. I really hope you try it out and yeah. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you guys next time.